Imagine a man, imprisoned for life, his identity hidden behind an iron mask, a mystery that has intrigued the world for centuries. This is the story of the man in the iron mask, a figure whose identity has been the subject of speculation and intrigue since the late 17th century. Popular belief holds that this man was none other than the twin brother of Louis XIV, the Sun King of France. A royal bloodline, a sinister plot, a life lived in the shadows. It's the stuff of high drama, isn't it? This theory has been romanticized in literature and film, further entrenching it in popular consciousness. Yet, history often proves to be more complicated than the narratives we weave from it. So, let's delve into the facts, shall we? The man known to us as the Man in the Iron Mask was a prisoner held during the reign of Louis XIII. His actual name, as far as historical records go, was Eustache Doguet. He was arrested in the late 1600s and held in various prisons, including the Bastille, for approximately three decades until his death. Throughout his imprisonment, his identity was kept a closely guarded secret, leading to the mystery that has endured for centuries. The Iron Mask, which has become so symbolic of his story, was likely a cloth mask, possibly velvet, and not iron at all. As for the theory that he was Louis XIV's twin brother, historical evidence suggests this is unlikely. Records indicate that Doger was actually a valet, a servant, before his arrest. While the exact reason for his imprisonment remains unclear, it's plausible that he fell out of favor or knew too much about some court intrigue. So, the romanticized image of a wronged royal twin imprisoned and forced to live his life behind an iron mask is likely far from the truth. Instead, the real man in the Iron Mask was probably just a man, a servant who found himself on the wrong side of courtly politics. So, the man in the Iron Mask, far from being a wronged royal, was likely just a servant who fell out of favor. Picture a legendary beauty who seduced two of the most powerful men in Rome. But was Cleopatra truly the enchantress we often imagine her to be? Our collective consciousness often paints Cleopatra as a woman of mesmerizing beauty, with the allure to beguile the most influential men of her time. Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, two legendary figures of Rome, fell under her spell, or so the story goes. Yet the truth might surprise you. Historical accounts do not necessarily portray Cleopatra as a great beauty. In fact, her image on ancient coins shows a woman with a strong nose, prominent chin, and deep-set eyes, quite contrary to the idealized beauty standards of her time. So, where does the myth of her enchanting beauty come from? It seems that Cleopatra's charm lay not in her physical appearance, but in her intellect and charisma. She was a woman of great learning, fluent in many languages, and known for her sharp wit and persuasive eloquence. Her charm was such that she could captivate anyone, not with her looks, but with her words and ideas. Cleopatra was not just a seductive queen, but a formidable ruler. She was the last active ruler of the Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt, and during her reign, she proved her political acumen time and again. She navigated the treacherous political waters of her time, forging alliances, handling betrayals, and always striving to maintain the independence and prosperity of her kingdom. Her romantic liaisons with powerful Roman generals, although a significant part of her story, often overshadow her achievements as a leader. Her relationships with Caesar and Antony were not just love affairs, but strategic alliances that allowed her to protect her kingdom and further her political ambitions. Cleopatra then was more than just a pretty face. She was a shrewd and powerful leader whose true appeal lay in her mind, not her looks. She was a woman who used her intellect and charm to navigate a man's world, leaving an indelible mark on history, not as a seductress, but as a queen, a diplomat, and a leader. A bloodthirsty vampire lurking in the shadows of a Transylvanian castle, but was Count Dracula more than just a creature of the night? Let's sink our teeth into the lore of Count Dracula, the infamous character conjured up by Bram Stoker in his 1897 novel. This undead aristocrat with his chilling charm and insatiable thirst for blood has haunted our imaginations and our nightmares for more than a century. Many believe that Stoker's Dracula was inspired by a real-life figure known for his own brand of ruthlessness, Vlad III, or as he was more menacingly known, Vlad the Impaler. Vlad III was a 15th century ruler of Wallachia, a historical region now part of modern-day Romania. His reign, while marked with controversy, was also one of significant leadership. Vlad is remembered for his brutal yet effective methods of maintaining order and defending his land against Ottoman incursions. His favorite form of punishment was impalement, hence his chilling moniker, Vlad the Impaler. But here's where the line between fact and fiction 
becomes blurred. While Vlad was undeniably ruthless and feared, there is no historical evidence to suggest that he was a blood-drinking creature of the night. The vampire connection appears to be mostly a product of Stoker's creative genius. Stoker may have been influenced by the tales of Vlad's cruelty, but the vampire characteristics seem to be purely fictional. Vlad Threed and Count Dracula are two distinctly different figures, one historical and the other fictional. The blending of their stories into one narrative appears to be a case of mistaken identity, perpetuated by popular culture and our collective fascination with the macabre. Vlad the Impaler's reputation for bloodthirstiness seems to have been enough to spawn the connection to the vampire myth. But in reality, the historical figure and the fictional character share little more than a name and a reputation for instilling fear. So, Vlad the Impaler, the supposed inspiration for Dracula, was indeed a ruthless ruler, but he certainly wasn't a vampire. History, as we witness through a swirling mist of time-faded images, often gets distorted, romanticized, or sensationalized, accompanied by the somber tone of a haunting melody. The tale of the man in the iron mask comes alive not just as a tragic imprisonment but as a complex narrative of political intrigue, full of shadowy figures and palace secrets, underscored with a chilling orchestral piece. Cleopatra, the Egyptian queen, emerges from a glowing scroll, more than a seductive beauty. She was a formidable ruler and a scholar, her story heightened by the rhythmic beat of ancient Egyptian drums. And the real Dracula steps out from the darkness of legend, far from being a supernatural villain, revealing a 15th century, a 15th century ruler with a fearsome reputation, with a sudden crescendo of suspenseful strings. Each of these stories, highlighted with a flash of light, serves as a reminder of how important it is to critically examine historical figures and narratives signified by a soft, inspirational piano piece. Subtitle animated in, the importance of critically examining historical figures and narratives. It's all too easy to accept easy to accept the sensationalized versions, but the truth often lies beneath layers of myth and exaggeration, represented by peeling back layers of an ancient manuscript with the sound of rustling pages and dramatic percussion. Subtitle dissolves in, the truth is often hidden beneath layers of myth and exaggeration. We owe it to these figures and to ourselves to delve deeper into their stories as we zoom into a historical document accompanied by an escalating instrumental melody. Subtitle subtly appears, delve deeper into historical stories. Remember, history isn't always as it appears in the movies or books, depicted through a book transforming into a film reel with the whirring sound of a projector and a playful, nostalgic tune. It's up to you to dig deeper. Subtitle floats up, History isn't always as it appears in media. Don't just take our word for it. Do explore more historical figures, illustrated by icons of books, internet, and a search magnifier, along with an upbeat, investigative tune. We've provided links to additional resources and related content below. Subtitle fades in. Explore more resources. Links provided. Now go ahead, buy a ripple animation and the sound of a stone skipping on water, and let's debunk more historical myths together. Let's encourage everyone to look beyond the surface, symbolized by an eye-opening, and discover the truth, accompanied by a triumphant, uplifting score. Subtitle animates in, let's discover historical truths together.